See if I got my mic on real quick. Are right, we good? Shalom, Israel, Shalom, Shalom. It is Brother Obadiah from New Wine Congregation. And I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the true name of who the world calls God. And Yahweh Shai is the true name of who the world calls Jesus Christ. And as you see on the screen, we got what you would call a witch. You know, we done seen witch movies, right? We know around the time of October, they started playing Halloween movies, um, especially when we were younger. You always seen a witch, and they looked like this. They had a green face. They had a mole somewhere on their face. And they had, like, those big black hats and a, um, a black outfit on, and they riding on a broom or have a broomstick in their hand, right? This is what we look at as being a witch. Or people look at um, people... You have another word that's called witchcraft, and you have people that was doing um, people that do voodoo. Mainly, it'd be a lot of times it'd be the um, our Haitian brothers and sisters. See, they be into that voodoo. People look at this as being, oh my God, that's witchcraft. They in the witchcraft. That's weird. That's scary. See, people look at voodoo as being witchcraft. People look at um, I want black magic. It's witchcraft. And these be the things that people try to stay away from and people tell you to stay away from because um, it's bad for you and it's wicked, it's demonic, right? Which it is when you look at these things, it's, it's demonic, of course. But, see, a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't know this. And that's why it's very important to read the Bible because it's a lot of people that's witches and don't even know it. See, a witch is not just a person with a green face, with a black hat on, on a broomstick. That's not just a witch. A witch, somebody that do voodoo and black magic, that's not your only witches. You have people that it's it's a lot of it's it's a lot of witches more than you know, right? It's a it's a lot of witches on this earth, and it's too many to count. And it's a lot of people that don't even know they witches. And let me show you what I'm talking about. First Samuel. 15 and 23 for a rebellion for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft and stubbornness is as iniquity and idolatry because thou hast rejected the word of the Lord. He has, he has also rejected thee from being king. So the Bible just said for rebellion is as the sin of witchcraft. So a lot of people rebel against this truth. A lot of our people, when we tell them that they Israelites, when we tell them that they, when we tell them they have to keep the commandments of God, they rebel against that and they do what they want to do. If you're doing your own thing, you're a witch, right? If you're doing whatever, if you're doing whatever your flesh want to do and make you feel good, you're a witch. You're rebelling against God. If you know that you ain't supposed to eat pork. And you and a, and a person show you in the Bible, in the law, that you're not supposed to eat pork and you continue to do it. You're going to get that same punishment as a witch in that day. If you know that you're supposed to be keeping the Sabbath day holy and you're not supposed to be working and buying on and cooking on the Sabbath day and you do it anyway. And the person show you in the scriptures that you're not supposed to do that. It's a sin. And you'd be like, well, I'm going to do it anyway because God know my heart. You was a witch. Because don't witches do whatever they want to do? Don't people that do voodoo and black magic, they do whatever pleases their flesh? They know that a lot of times they do that stuff and it, it makes them feel good. It's the same thing when people rebel against the most high and do what they want to do. You're no different than a witch. They Y'all doing the same thing. Y'all doing whatever y'all want to do. So the Lord comparing you to a witch if you if you rebel against his scriptures. If you rebel... um. And turn the other way and do what you want to do. You don't want to keep the laws of God. You say that's boring or that's too hard to do. Or you say that you say it's done away with. You don't want to keep the commandments. You don't keep the feast days, the feast of tabernacles. Uh, um, you don't keep Pentecost. You don't keep none of the days. You don't keep none of the feast days. But um, actually, you were my bad. You had a. My mind just went blank. You know that you're supposed to be keeping the feast days, but you rebel. Hey, you know, I'm not doing. That. I'm still keeping my birthday. Right? I'm a, I'm a still keep Christmas, Thanksgiving, Easter. You rebelling and you are a witch. You are doing this witchcraft. 
that mindset of that, like that's what America teach you. Do whatever you want to do. Whatever makes you happy, do it. Do whatever pleases you. That would that what makes a lot of people uh witches and doing witchcraft in the most high God eyes. Cause that mindset of um do whatever you want to do, have a good time. I uh you smoke cigarettes, that's okay, as long as it makes you feel good. You smoke weed, that's okay, as long as it calms you down. That's witchcraft. And it said, and stubbornness is as iniquity of idolatry. So if you stubborn, meaning you're going against the most high God, commandments and laws, you're going against the prophets and the servants that's out there teaching every uh, Sabbath, out there teaching and telling our people the Bible, you out there hearing them talking about the Bible and you you uh, keep walking. We said at the brothers asked, do you got two minutes to listen? Uh, no, nah, I ain't. I ain't got two minutes. You being stubborn. You ain't want. You don't want to come. Even though you got two minutes, you ain't doing nothing else. But you don't want to listen to the Lord. So rebellion as a sin of witchcraft. Even if you have a woman, a, a woman, right? She have a husband, and you continue rebel against him, and you don't really want to do what he say. Um, in righteousness, you a witch. Or if you had, or if brothers, if you in a camp or a congregation, and brothers got rules set up, and you rebelling against that, and saying I'm doing, I'm gonna do what I want to do. I ain't doing that. I'm gonna do what I want to do, what time I want to do it, however I want to do it. You a witch. So and un- this what this what the judgment was in the um in the law for a witch. If you got caught being a witch, right? If you got caught rebelling and not keeping the law, if you got caught doing voodoo, witchcraft, black magic, all that type of stuff, looking, uh, trying to see the future, crystal balls. The Bible said, "Thou shalt not suffer a witch to live." That's Exodus twenty two and eight. You're not supposed to suffer a witch to live. So during that time, before we got grace and mercy, before you how shall die on that cross, if you was caught being a witch in any type of form of being a witch. Or any witchcraft, you got put to death on the spot. It wasn't, oh, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Give me another chance. No, you got put to death. But now we got grace and mercy. And that grace and mercy don't mean continue to be a witch. You have a lot of witches out here, man. The Bible is basically saying, when he say we have grace and mercy, now you have grace and mercy to repent and get it right. Now you know witchcraft wrong. You don't get put to death for it. You can repent and stop doing it. That don't, that don't mean that you continue to, to do voodoo and continue to do black magic and continue to rebel against the law because that's going to get you put to death. When Christ come back, all them judgments that he said was going to happen, it's going to happen. You know, so this is just a quick video, man. I just want to show brothers and sisters this, that a witch a witchcraft is not just voodoo in the most high God eyes. It's not just, you know, um casting spells on people. It, it, that's not just vo- that's not just witchcraft. Witchcraft is also rebelling against the the uh the most high God commandments and um and, and the laws, man. You know you're supposed to have fringes on. Nah, I don't wanna wear no fringes. They don't look right on me. People gonna laugh at me. People going to ask what's on my shirt. It's going to be embarrassed. That's you rebelling against the most high. That's you being stubborn. Right? So a lot of people are going to get put to death, man. And a lot of people are walking witches and don't even know it. So that's why we, I made this video so brothers and sisters can repent and come back to this truth. And realize, I don't want to be a witch. I'm a witch. I don't want to be a witch, though. So I'm going to repent and keep the commandments of God. That's the main goal that we make these videos and why we go out and teach to compel our people to come back to this truth. Right? So with that, I want to give our honor and glory to Yahweh by Shimi Yahweh Shai. And I say Shalom and Kormi Yashwala.